Did anybody try to pre-order the new SNES Classic Edition? And you couldn't get a copy, you couldn't pre-order it, sold out on Amazon, sold out on Best Buy, sold out on Target, sold out on GameStop, sold out on e EB Games, sold out on ThinkGeek, owned by uh, GameStop. Nobody could get a copy of this thing except for a very select few, excluding Mr. Donald Trump. I'll tell you why you couldn't get a copy. This is an exclusive report. I'm hearing... Reports on, on this event are coming in left, right, and center. It turns out that Donald Trump bought up all of the pre-orders. All of the pre-orders. Every pre-order he could get his hands on, he was buying them. He was using his business connections. He had his wife, daughter, and kids all sitting at a computer ready the second those things came out. Ready to pre-order, hit the buy button, hit the load cart button, using supercomputers. He was using supercomputers because he's a billionaire. He has access to those really fast internet connections and supercomputers. He even enlisted the help of the FBI to make sure that they could get, be the first in line in those shopping carts. Okay, first in line. This is why you, the American citizen, the American taxpayer, the American worker, the blue collar worker, the white collar worker, the yellow collar worker, the student, the the kid who's too young to even have a job and therefore you're using your parents money. None of you guys could get your hands on one of these copies because Donald Trump bought them all. I okay. heard it here first. Exclusive report. Spread the word. That's why you couldn't get a copy. I heard it from a very, very reputable news source. Now you might be asking, why does Donald Trump want so many SNES Classic Editions? Why is he buying all this, these, these, these Classic Editions? And, and I'll tell you why. It's for two reasons. One, because it's a great way to make money. The only people who even got this thing were nothing but scalpers, including GameStop, who owns Th ThinkGeek who's basically scalping them. They, they're selling them in these pre-order packages, uh, forcing you to buy a bunch of crap that they couldn't otherwise sell at inflated prices, $200, $150. Go on thinkgeek.com. And the other reason, that's only half the reason. The real reason, though, the real kicker, is because Donald Trump has declared war on Nintendo. He's calling it trump Tendo now. And he's going to make Nintendo great again. He's tired of Nintendo screwing us around, not selling enough copies, not making enough copies. You remember the NES Classic Edition? We all got screwed. Every single one of us got screwed. You still can't buy the thing and you'll never be able to buy the thing. Nintendo could have made 10 times what they had produced on that and they would have all sold and they probably still would have got scalped. Okay, Nintendo never learns and they... Sure as hell didn't learn with the SNES Classic Edition. Or you know what? Donald Trump wouldn't have been able to buy them all. There would have been plenty to go around. But he's going to take over Nintendo. Nintendo, you just got trumped. And he's going to make sure that uh, this thing goes in the dumpster where Nintendo belongs for not making enough copies. You heard it here first. Spread the news. Share this video. Like this video. Comment below. This needs to get out to the mainstream this needs to get on cnn abc washington post new york times front page of the new york times back page of the new york times middle of the new york times it needs three pages in every in every copy okay let's get this out uh for the sunday edition of the wall street journal uh please like the video subscribe see you later